Max. Before our first date, I remember thinking there probably wouldn't be a second. <laughs> I anticipated that like many people in my past, I would feel the need to change who I was to be around you. I assumed we were going to be very different people who wanted very different things in life. I was half right, we are very different, but I could not have been more wrong about how compatible we are for one another and how much you accept me for who I am. From the very beginning of our relationship, you have surprised me, kept me on my toes, and changed the way I looked at the world. In your eyes, there are no limits to what is possible through imagination, hard work, and love. You inspire me to want more, think more, be more, and do more. You are my best friend and the person I always want to see at the end of the day. Sure. Sure. <laughs> um, I love that you are goofy, intelligent, empathetic, caring, and daring. I love that you laugh at my jokes and make junk food runs for me when I'm feeling stressed. <laughs> Mostly, I love how you make me the best version of myself without even trying. You see me as your equal and encourage me to squeeze out every drop of joy life has to offer. You do all of this not for yourself, but for me. As we move forward in our love, I promise to be patient with you, whether you have forgotten something I just told you, or even if I'm losing a ticket to ride. <laughs> I will listen and stay calm so that you can be heard. I vow to always be open to the next adventure and along for the ride, just as you have been by my side no matter what. Whether this is a jam-packed travel itinerary or a water shortage while hiking, we're in it together. <laughs> I promise to always be willing to grow and work toward a better version of myself than the day before. And I vow to respect and appreciate you for who you are and the person you wish to become. These are my promises to you. As I was preparing for this day, I found something that spoke to me and reminded me of you. I saw that you were perfect and so I loved you. Then I saw that you were not perfect, and I loved you even more. I love you so much, and I can't wait for the rest of our life together. I wish I could kiss you right now. I'm glad I get to go last, because you guys basically <laughs> took my vows. <clears throat> it's a little long. I went a little overboard. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rebecca, of all the many complex challenges uh, and decisions I've had to make throughout my life, choosing to ask you to spend the rest of your life with me has been my favorite by far. Um, I mean that more than all the games of Ticket to Ride and Liar's Dice, um, how to anchor the boat at Mason Borough properly, when people are yelling at us, where to live in Boston, that's best for the dogs, how to pack the car before a road trip. Um, not because it was easy, but because you challenged me in ways that I've never experienced before. And I know it will be the most rewarding. You know, I thought to myself, is this right? Is this the right thing to do? Is this our future? And as I pondered on and on all the limitless possibilities and probable outcomes of how my life can play out, all the future stages, um, I came to a moment of really clear understanding what happens next in my life doesn't really matter as long as I'm with you. And now I can't picture a life without you. I don't want to. I don't even want to consider a possible alternate reality where we're not partners. So you can imagine the joy and excitement I had when you said yes and we agreed to embark on this journey together. You make me laugh. I think that's so important. You keep life fun and exciting and interesting. You make me smile and laugh so deeply all of the time. You're so funny, it's so attractive. And once in a great while, on a rare occasion, I'll like, you don't want to admit it, I will make you laugh. <laughs> and when that happens, your laughter lifts me from the deepest despair. You may not realize it's one of your strengths, but you really have mastered the concepts of patience and forgiveness. Everyone here in this garden today knows that you just have the biggest heart, the kindest soul. You give all of yourself to everyone all of the time. You give every person the benefit of the doubt a second chance. You always see the best in people. You have this powerful empathy and wisdom, and despite all of the difficulties in the world, you still care. You never give up hope. 
not just in your career pursuits, which are brave and admirable, but this is a reflection of the kind of person you are and the kind of person I would like to be. I think that's beautiful. You inspire me and challenge me every day to follow those guiding principles. You encourage me to find my own way and support me without hesitation. And importantly, to love myself and to be grateful for what I have, and that helps bring me peace. You've helped me understand how to give and receive love in more ways than I knew how. And for all of this, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I could not ask for anything more from you. When things go wrong and we disagree, and disagree strongly, I vow to bring a calm, respectful, and collaborative approach to problem solving. From this moment on, we'll face life's challenges together, and I sincerely mean that. Unless, of course, we're opponents in Mexican train, in which case I'll have to destroy you. <laughs> I can't promise I'll be perfect for you, but I can promise that I will always listen to you, your needs and your wants. And I'll do my absolute best to support you, provide for you, and I will never leave you in your times of need. Now, I actually may not be the best listener in the world, but I need you to know that it is of the utmost importance to me that you feel heard. We cannot have a successful relationship if you do not feel heard. So I commit that to you here today. And equally important is that <clears throat> not only are you enough for me, but you have given me more than I could have ever hoped to have in a partner. More than I really knew was possible. And I had high expectations. <laughs> You've given me so much in four years. I, I don't want to waste another second of my life wondering, is this right? Is this the future? I've never been more confident about any decision I've ever made in my entire life than right here, right now. I choose you as my life partner, my teammate, my companion, and my best friend. I want to overcome every challenge with you, celebrate every victory, raise a family together and wander through this world experiencing everything it has to offer with the hopes that we can leave it a little better than we found it. You have a beautiful soul and I'm so blessed and grateful to have met you when and where we did in that exact moment in our lives and for all of the many stars that have had to have aligned in order for this moment to unfold before us. I vow to cherish and protect and preserve this wonderful union we've established through the passage of time and all that is yet to be, I want to walk together through you among it all. And as uh, one of our favorite authors once said for one of their characters, J.R. Tolkien, um, I would rather spend one lifetime with you than face all the ages of this world alone. And that's it. <laughs>